it's much better. So in the mornings, what I like to do is work on some of my personal projects before I get started. Uh, today, I'm taking a web development course. Yeah, I'm just I'm just learning a little bit of development. Uh, I see if that's something that I'm interested in and potentially might go into. Uh, so for the next hour, I'm just going to be taking this course and going along. But yeah, let's get into it. stand up for one of the projects that I'm supporting. I'm um, not too involved in it. I probably won't need to say anything, but I'm actually a couple of minutes late. Um, so I'm just gonna join that. That was for a project that I'm on that I'm trying to get out of. Um, I'm doing primarily Linux support on it, uh, but yeah, we meet uh, twice a week, kind of like a mini meeting slash stand up to check in um, with what needs to be done, if there's any blockers, things like that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just check on some of my emails as well as our monitoring tool, just to see if there's any systems that need any attention. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do that now. I just went through and checked uh, all my emails, tickets, uh, any messages, and our monitoring tool. Um, uh, this is what I typically do at the beginning of the day. Uh, as well as in the middle of the day and at the end of the day. Uh, for today, there was uh, one ticket that was submitted yesterday about a server that wasn't working. So I took a quick look and couldn't identify um, the issue right away. So I'll be uh, spending some time today taking a look. Then I went through our monitoring uh, tool. Uh, there were some servers that were uh, saying that they were down, but in reality, it's because they're either being worked on by somebody else or we're getting rid of them and they just, uh, their maintenance uh, entry expired. So what you do normally is when you're expecting for the server to be down, you put it under maintenance, at least in Zabbix terms. And this prevents it from uh, notifying everybody uh, that it's down. Uh, so I just went through and cleaned it up. And then there were one or two that have been down for a while, so I created a ticket for them. Uh, most likely somebody on my team will take care of that. It could be me or any um, any of the other team members. Uh, so that's what I did. But yeah, now that I've checked any new issues, uh, I'm gonna spend a majority, of the, a majority of the time until lunchtime to work on existing tickets. So that's the server that went down yesterday as well as any ongoing projects that I'm working on. Uh, and I'll talk about that um, on my lunch break later. done so far um, that server that I was looking at earlier in the morning I pretty much spent most of the time trying to fix it um, it turned out it was a, a mount issue uh, which somebody on the team is already looking at so I kind of just talked to them see uh, saw where they were at and they were much further in the troubleshooting process than I was so transferred the ticket over to them. Now, if you're curious, the server is part of an HPC cluster, which stands for high performance uh, computing. And that's primarily what our team supports. So we have around 700 
servers, I think, and like a mini data center pretty much. So the system that went down, it was a GPU server within that uh, compute cluster. And, but the good thing about clusters like this is that um, when uh, one or two servers go down, it's not the end of the world because there's just so many of them within the cluster, right? But yeah, so that's primarily what I worked on. Um, I replied to a couple of other tickets that came in. Um, I'm also part of the team that supports our Jira Confluence instance. So we use Jira for our ticketing system as, as well as as a project management tool for other projects. One of the tickets that came in was just to create a simple Jira project. I just responded to ticket because I had a few more questions about it. So I'm waiting on a response on that. Uh, and then the other ticket was for a more customized Jira project. And this is gonna involve more like questions to see what kind of um, uh, workflow they want in the Jira project, what kind of issue types they want. So I kind of just responded with a bunch of questions uh, just to get them to give us more details so we can um, kind of flesh out the details and start working on that. So that's pretty much so far what I've worked on. I'm gonna grab some lunch and then I have, um, there's an, a team meeting um, for the whole IT or department. It's a weekly meeting that I go to. Um, I'm probably gonna just be, you know, I'm gonna log in into the Zoom meeting, but not really, probably just do work in the background because those, those meetings tend to be higher level and I'm not that involved in that kind of uh, discussion. I have a personal call at two that I get, I need to get to, depending on how the GPU server pans out, if it gets fixed by my colleague, then I can focus on my other project, um, which is to migrate a file system from, uh, from one environment to another. And I can talk about that later in, in a bit more detail. And that should hopefully be it for the day. But yeah, for now, um, uh, let's go grab lunch. I was gonna film myself going to the shop and getting the food, but then I got scared of uh, filming in public. So I have magically appeared with a burrito in my hand. Okay, so just finished up having that personal call that I had. It actually went, um, it took long, well, not really. I was expecting it to be like 45-ish minutes. Uh, finished in an hour. Actually, I had to cut it short because, because I gotta get back to work. Um, but just as an update, um, my colleague did end up fixing that server, so I don't have to worry about that for, for today. So what I'll be focusing on for the rest of the work day is um, the file system migration, um, which I forget if I mentioned earlier, but if I didn't, it's, um, we have a, a bunch of file systems. They're all Linux that need to be migrated over to a new environment. Um, but, well, they'll be joined to an active directory domain. Um, as well as their operating system will be upgraded to CentOS 7, I believe, um, and a few other things that need to be changed. So that that's a whole process of us um, making sure that data on the file systems are migrated uh, or backed up prior to pretty much reinstalling the server into a new environment. Um, and that process can take a while because you have to coordinate with people. Um, uh, migrating data takes a while because uh, these are like terabytes of data uh, on these file systems. Outside of that, there's a couple of smaller tickets. Um, one's about a, uh, just a question about Jira space or Jira project. Another one um, is to create a Bitbucket project for an existing um, Jira project. And I have one 
to take a look at some failing backup policies on our backup server. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get some water. Here's another thing that happens when you're a system administrator um, or an IT person in general. Regardless of what you're doing in that moment, right, whether you're working on a project or another issue that you're fixing, there's gonna be an, there's gonna be an email or a ticket that comes in at the same time with another issue. If you're in a mid-sized or a small size company and you're a sysadmin, you're doing a lot of fixing and responding to issues as well as projects uh, and stuff like that. So there's there's this like balancing act that you have to do when you're trying to fix the issues that your employees are having, but also get to these projects that are probably already been like sidetracked for over a year or something like that. Um, so I just got an email with a problem regarding to a Windows system that uh, that a person can't log into anymore. Um, it's actually a known issue because it's a Windows system that I dealt with and that's why I got the email. But just another thing to mention when you're working as a sysadmin or in the IT field is that you're just cons consistently get interrupted by emails, tickets, people coming to your doors and stuff like that. Yeah, so that about does it for this video. I didn't end up working on the things that I said I was gonna work on for, for the rest of the day. Um, I got sidetracked one by the GPU issue again. So that server, um, the fix that my colleague applied didn't actually fix uh, the GPU error, but it did fix some other mount issue. So at least we got that crossed off the list of possible causes. So tomorrow I'll probably spend a bit more time on it. And if I can't figure it out, then I'll probably have somebody else take a look at it as well. Uh, and then I also got sidetracked by other, another email about a, a Jira project. Uh, so yeah, I got distracted by those two things and didn't end up getting to work on any of the migrations, the file system migrations, um, or any of the backup issues. But that's what tomorrow is for. I, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you did enjoy this and if you want more of this. Uh, I'm more than happy to do a bit more vloggy style kind of uh, content. Let me know, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, until next time, peace.